All right, we're gonna do a little experiment with the Gotenna meshes and a drone. So we're gonna send this particular Gotenna mesh up 400 feet on the drone. We're gonna attach it to the drone and then we're gonna use this one as a relay node. So this one's currently set to relay mode and then I have these two paired with smartphones. So I'm gonna have this one down below where the drone is and the drone's gonna be at 400 feet. This one's gonna be at the ground and I'm gonna see how far away I could drive with this other one before I lose signal. So I'm hoping that I get a greater distance than what you would normally get in a residential or urban environment we're in Tacoma, Washington right now, and I'm going to be going down Stevens Street as far as I could go. So again, we're going to have this drone up 400 feet. We're going to have this one right below it, 400 feet, and I'm going to be driving away, and we'll see how far we could go away from this. So let's get started now with this test. Doc Brown. <laughs> Plutonium powered. All right, the drone's taken off. I'm gonna get in the car and see how far away I can get now. Let's get started. So I should have mentioned that when this hits what it considers low battery, it will drop to 60 meters. Okay, so when it hits low battery, that's 60 meters, okay. Pulling into the Cheney Stadium parking area really quick. So you, you've haven't, you haven't received any message yet, right? Yeah, but I haven't received anything since test. Hmm. I'm gonna come back towards you. Wonder if it needs line of sight. Well, definitely needs line of sight, but I would think that the drone would have it have line of sight towards the drone. I would think uh, it might be better the further away you get. Yeah. Okay, I just got a message. Okay, yeah, that's. <laughs> I'm right over here, so okay. So I'm wondering if it's not hitting that drone then right now. Oh, you're back. Yep. I'm gonna turn around again. Okay. We'll go the other way. Go over past uh, Fred Meyer. Okay. You can definitely see it over to there and see if it works over there. Cool. All right, can I make the light? Uh, I'm at the light now. I'm sending a message at the light. 19th and Stevens, got it. You got that one? Yeah. This is 18th and Stevens. Let me try that. Yep, 18th. Cool. You didn't get 14th? I did not. Okay. Still nothing. No, I'm not seeing it yeah, hit the, I'm not seeing it hit the node. Because normally if, I, if I'm setting it, if it's using a node, it's going to let it, let me know that it did one node pass there. Huh. It makes sense to me that it would hit, uh, where you said 16th, that's about where the line of sight would end, where the road turns, right? Yeah, but the, the drone should be up pretty high though, Frank. I'm thinking you might yeah, get still it might get better the further away it gets because now you, you're over go, looking over a lot of things. Yeah, let me try this. It just seems to me that the tree branches are enough to get in the way here. That's my point. Tree branches shouldn't stop the signal. I wouldn't think it would affect the radio. It, it like, takes something more solid. Like a building or a mountain or hill. Exactly. Okay, did you get this one? Uh, tenth? No. Okay. Still nothing. All right. Where are you right now? I'm going to start making my way back. I don't think it's hitting that node. Where are you? I'm at 8th and Stevens. Huh. And you can't see it, right? No. That's what's going here. It should be hitting the node and then if going down If you hold to that his. outside... That should be on the top of your car, not underneath the metal roof. Here. Here. here stick All right, right we're going to try here. something. Stick it right up here. Oh, you're going to have to open that up. Yeah. 
try it again. Hey, I just got one that says seventh second attempt. Oh, and I see that. Oh, cool. So I don't know if we can get this on it camera. Just got here though. Yeah, I see delivered via one mesh node. So that means it hit the the the, go, the, the drone at that point. Oh, let me keep going. Okay. Like I said, you might be better off the further away. Yeah, you get. I'm gonna try to go a little farther. Okay, okay. gotta hurry. We're running out of battery. Okay. Okay, so we've had to put the node or put the go antenna uh, above the roof of the car. Above the roof. It's starting to rain heavier too. Oh, it looks like it's set. Yep, it just did. North seventh. So I never got another message after North seventh, but uh, and the, the it has landed. It has landed. Okay. Cool. I was just gonna. I'll, I'll start making my way back over there. Okay, and we can uh, try another battery here in a minute if you want. We'll kind of dry it off. And okay, cool. Around. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's do round two. Okay. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. All right, so for that first attempt, we were able to make it about 15 blocks, but then our drone ran out of battery. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna retry it. I'm just gonna go as where we left off at. This time we have the go tenna mesh on the top of the car to hope, hopefully it will help out a little bit. And we think that the farther that we go, the easier it's gonna be to hit that node on the drone and then come down to the go tenna mesh that's over here as well. So let's try round two now. We're gonna go far, a little bit farther out and we'll see if we could hit that drone. All right, here we go. Here we are. So we last st stopped <coughs> around uh, 8th or 9th in Steven. So we're going to go a little past that. And hopefully we'll be able, it's going to be going slightly downhill. We'll think we'll be able to hit the drone from there. Uh, this is Urban Prepper Hotline. Hello, we're at 400. We're at 400, okay. We're uh, coming up to 6th Ave. Battery, li battery life's looking strong. I can see all the way to the water right now. Well, I'm gonna start going, I think I'm gonna try to go to like North 10th to 12th around there. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting, the road jogs and then it's pretty straight, you know, past 6th and beyond. Okay. Um, I feel like I can see, st or yeah, I can feel st or see Stevens well into the 20s. Oh, you know. Cool. Okay, north 13th. Let's try this. Nothing on your end? No, nothing since 6th. Okay. I'm taking video of this view I have. I believe you were in a little depression between 6th and 15th, and that's why I couldn't receive it. Okay, I got north 13th. Oh, cool. Yeah, it says that I went through on mine too. One mesh node. Let me try 15th. Here's a uh, north 15th coming through. It looks like it went. North 15th I got. Sweet. It's working. <laughs> we got north 15th. All right, I'm, uh, let me go to 17th. impressive how's the drone battery drone battery strong cool north 21st received. received yeah i see uh one mesh node correct all right i'm gonna go over to uh the 76 station let's try that 70. okay uh, up at 26th yeah that's uh let me try here i'm gonna go around 25th and you could see me on the camera I'm not sure. I have to zoom in with the PC later, but it looks like I can see quite a ways up Stevens. Cool. All right, here we go. North 25th. It's impressive. The North 21st one is 29 blocks from here. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if North 25th is going to do it. Let me, let me go to the gas station. 
keep having people walk by here. I have to get awkwardly close to the camera for you. Let's kind of get a little cameo appearance. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, North Twenty Six isn't sending either. North Twenty First must be it. Yep. North Twenty Second received. Cool. All right. So let me. I'm gonna double on back just to see if I can make it a twenty fourth. Last one, and then I'm coming back. North. Getting a couple weird error messages here. Yeah. There's another one. That is North 24th second attempt. So I Got wonder that. if it's because I'm facing you. Uncle Dan might be onto something. Let's see. How's the battery? Getting yeah. low. It's supposed to give you a good warning. This one is a. Uh... There we go. I'm having trouble. I think the rain is making it act strange. I'm gonna bring it down, I think. All right, cool. You guys done? Yeah, we just sent another one. Yeah, we're done. Okay. Cool. Oh, it made it through. There it is. North 25th redo. So we're facing you on this one. When we were facing away, it wouldn't, it wouldn't do North 25th, but now that we're facing you, it's doing it. So, okay, interesting. How does so, it, so now look at this. How does it know which way it's facing? Well, wait a minute. Okay, let me explain it because what, what it's all about uh, antenna and, and, and the ground plane underneath the antenna. Okay, so when, yeah. you, when we're facing you, you have a shorter ground plane here because it's about right here, right? Yeah. Okay, when you turn it around the other way, the ground plane's longer, which makes the other piece look a little shorter. Maybe. Okay, so it's, 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 it's all about the antenna though. Huh. Well, we, we made it pretty far though, I think. So, all right, we're, we're on our way down. I got, some, I got some low battery issues. I'm gonna uh, put you down. All right, cool. All right, I'll talk to you. Right. See you. All right, so we're making our way back. We ran out of drone battery again. We were in about 34 blocks distance. We think it's a couple miles, so uh, which is pretty good. It seemed to perform better when the car was actually facing towards the drone than if we were going away from it. Uh, so I'm gonna put some stuff on the map so you can kind of see uh, what kind of distance we were looking at. All right, that's going to do it for this particular segment of the Gotenna Mesh Review where we were using the drone. So again, we went about 34 blocks and we were using that drone as a relay point. So I was kind of envisioning this in a grid down scenario similar to the movie I Am Legend. If you guys remember watching that, Will Smith at noon every day, he would go send a radio broadcast and hoping to see if he could get anyone. I was kind of thinking the same thing could be used with the Gotenna Mesh and a drone where they'd be able to provide signal to a, multiple, a wider network range of people in an emergency situation. So maybe they would be charging their drone using solar panels throughout the day and then be able to use that to basically provide coverage for almost a, an entire section of town. So that's kind of what I was envisioning here and I think technically it would probably work. So you probably, we got about 34 blocks. So leave your comments below in the comment section regarding this particular segment of the Go Tenna Mesh Review.